It's the chosen one, baby. Yes, it is. All right, I have not watched Monday Night Raw. Okay, so we're not going to get into that right now. But I did, I was looking at my phone earlier, and across the, my phone it says, Alondra Blaze is inducted into the Hall of Fame. What? Are you serious? Okay, nothing against her, Medusa, Alondra Blaze, whatever. Who's going to induct her? Eric Bischoff, because she dropped the WWE Women's title belt on Nitro. Uh, Bull Nakano, is she going to induct her? She came speak English, but I guess you could try. Ed Ferrar, really? Who's going to induct her? I mean, I don't know. I, I'm really not big on this. Like Jim and I wasn't big on uh, the Bushwhackers getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. My thing is, we're in the PG era, so they're going back to the 90s, the early 90s, and inducting people from like 94, 95 that were in there, and the Bushwhackers were in there in that period of time, so I figured this is what's going on. Uh, I have not seen Raw, so I don't know anything that's going on on Raw yet, except other than Alondra Blaze was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Didn't come really as no shocker, I just uh, figured they could find somebody better to put in there. I mean, I'm probably going to take some heat on that, but I mean, she was an impressive female wrestler back in that time. Uh, her and Bull Nakano did have some great matches together, but I still just don't see the Hall of Fame thing. But uh, I'm probably going to watch Raw here in just a few minutes. Uh, got it DVR'd. Uh, kind of just wanted to go over that and kind of make a presentation of what I'm thinking about doing right now is starting maybe Friday doing a video maybe once or twice a week doing a video mainly on Friday nights uploading it on Friday nights uh, after TNA uh, may not get the TNA review in or not I don't know yet but uh, just uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at bturn83 on Twitter and I'd like to thank you know shout out to Assault and Battery 777 and Gemini 8888 for, uh, you know, uh, they've been doing this a long time. They're probably the greatest, you know, to listen to. And I uh, hadn't looked at many videos in a while. Uh, I hadn't, this is, you know, I hadn't done videos in probably, you know, five, six years, you know. And, oh. You know, it's, it was just kind of fun to get back and try to get an opinion and listen to the Gemini's videos. Guys still got it. Uh, Salt Barry 777. His, he was already amazing when uh, I was on here the first time, but it's, it's above and beyond that now. So, uh, but yeah, I just, I just kind of wanted to give my opinion on the Alondra Blaze getting inducted into the Hall of Fame and possibilities of uh, and the Bushwhackers now Jim and I I will I'm gonna go ahead and say this <laughs> you were real harsh on the Bushwhackers granted they weren't the best tag team in the WWF or WWE at that time or ever but you know they were entertaining the kids loved them that's just like people that you know, and I'm guilty of this one of disliking John Cena sometimes, but I don't dislike John Cena. I mean, I respect John Cena. I just don't root for many faces anyway. And he's 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 more over than probably any wrestler's ever been in this industry. I mean, he is bigger than Hulk Hogan. I mean, you can argue with me or what. I mean, Hulk Hogan's still huge to this day. He's never a big Hulk Hogan fan. Uh, but you know, uh, John Cena is impressive. I mean, he sells more merchandise than anybody has ever sold at WWE, and I mean, that's saying a lot. I mean, he just, I mean, what people don't understand is they're like, well, people boo him and all this and that, yeah, but the kids love him, and that's what got him there. The kids love him, and the parents. Well, of the kids will buy the kids whatever they want of John Cena because that's what you know they want. But uh, I just want to give my opinion on the Elijah Blaze thing. I'm gonna watch Raw here in a few minutes and check it out and see what's going on. Uh, 
but I figured I'd just do a little quick video, you know, kind of getting back in the groove of it. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to get back to things. Uh, I'm not, I'm going to be doing the webcam for a few weeks just to, you know, get, get my stuff set up, but I am going to be also doing a podcast. Uh, I'm going to actually have a guest on that's in the wrestling business or was in the wrestling business. I got a couple lined up that I'm going to talk to. I've, actually, I've been in touch with them and, uh, one of them lives where I used to live or not far from where I used to live. And, uh, I've, we've, uh, I've known him for a while, you know, I've talked to him. Uh, he was in the WWE at one time. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag just yet, but he was in the WWE one time for a long time. As a matter of fact, he was one of the, he's been there for about, I think 14, 14, 15 years. Yeah. He'd been there for about 14 or 15 years. Uh, get him on there but uh it's kind of good being back and i was going to explain earlier you know kind of my situation uh of the reason one of the reasons why i was gone was because of my poker situation and all the travel and everything and i just didn't have time to do it even though i felt like i wanted to do it because i was planning on making my return after january uh in january of 2010 after i went to the royal rumble well i got back from the royal rumble uh I had signed a contract with a company to play poker and I just did not get back to the video and with all the travel schedule and then everything else that was mixed in over the last six years. But uh, I have kept over wrestling. I hadn't, WWE is just, for me, it has just went down. I mean, it's, you know, 2010 when Nexus was there, kind of lifted me up and I watched it and then you know, with the CM Punk situation, I enjoyed the CM Punk heel run, you know, when he was champion for a year and uh, over a year. And the Daniel Bryan when WrestleMania 30 last year, I went to WrestleMania 30 because it was only three hours from where I was living. And where I live, so I made a trip down there to that and uh, enjoyed it as usual. I'm not a big fan of New Orleans, but I have to go down there every year and play poker and Thankfully, not no more. Or right now, I don't. Uh, I'm putting that behind me and trying to get back focused on some other stuff. And uh, hopefully enjoy getting back on YouTube. I've been dying to get back up on here and see how things are going with everybody. And it's good to see that a lot of people are still here and still doing things. Jim and I, I love listening to his videos because when I was on here at first, you know, me and Jim and I have a rivalry thing back then but i love listening to his videos and arguing with him uh because he's good at it and he's good at doing the videos and i also want to say something else i watched another one of his videos about him about the wwe network i have the wwe network i still have my dvd collection too uh the i don't look at the wwe network as i don't need dvds no more I look at WWE Network where I can go back and watch old Raws, like from 94, 95. Even though it was the cartoon era, I still love watching this stuff, you know. Uh, and going back watching the old WCW pay-per-views from like 1991, RoboCop, Capital Combat 90, stuff that I remember when I was a kid that you can't hardly find on DVD or, I mean, on VHS even. I have looked everywhere for old WCW VHSs, and I mean everywhere, and I can't find them. I still collect the DVDs. Uh, WWE Network is not stopping me from collecting DVDs. WWE Network's just giving me something to where I can watch the old Raws, the Nitros, stuff that you can't get on DVD. Uh, that's my main thing, you know, is getting to watch the old Raws. I love watching the 95, 94, 93 Raws. Actually, when I first got the WWE Network, I started with the first Raw, which I've already seen all of them, but you know, it's just fun going back room this a little bit. I started with January of 93, which was the first uh, WWE Raw, and I watched the whole year, and every time it come to the pay-per-view, I'd watch the pay-per-view, and then I'd go and watch the next night's Raw, so it you know, kind of felt like brought some good memories back. But anyway, uh, that's another thing, too, is it? Yeah, I mean the WWE's network's not intended for you not to be a DVD collector. If you're if you're a true wrestling fan and you love wrestling, 
the WWE Network, that's not that's the lazy way, really. It is a lazy way out, but it also saves you money on the monthly pay-per-views. That is it, but it is the lazy way out. I mean, if you're a collector of DVD, I mean, if you're a collector of something, you know, you want that. I mean, it's good to have it on there. That way, I don't even have to pull my DVDs out. I don't really even have to open my DVDs. I can just watch it on WWE Network, but, you know, it gives me the... Uh, it gives me the freedom to go back and watch Raws and stuff like that. I still collect DVDs. I mean, I'm going to do that because it's just, that's my collect, that's what I, one of my hobbies is, is collecting stuff, you know, like the wrestling stuff. Uh, it's all in a storage shed right now because, you know, I'm in between two places. I'm between Las Vegas and Mississippi. So, you know, I'm just enjoying my time right now. And I'm hoping y'all enjoy my new videos, and I'm going to probably bring some of the old stuff, you know, as I do back, and we'll get set up and everything, but uh, I just hope you enjoy the videos, and it's good, feels good to be back watching Gemini's videos and Assault and Battery 777's videos, and I'm looking forward to watching the rest of y'all's videos, and if you have any questions, you can ask me on Twitter, I will answer you back, it's at bturn 83 on Twitter, I will answer your questions and maybe do a video about them. And, uh, but yeah, it's good to be back. And if you want me to check out your channel, just either follow me on Twitter, Twitter, uh, tweet me on Twitter or, uh, you know, whatever, send me a message on, uh, YouTube. I'll be more than happy to help you out and, uh, subscribe because, uh, that's what we're here for and just want to enjoy you know, being back and hope I can contribute a little bit to the YouTube wrestling community and maybe we can rebuild this thing back to where, you know, it had a lot of prestige a long time ago and hope we can get it back to where it was at and just enjoy being wrestling fans and enjoy, you know, voicing our opinions and everybody in the community just kind of, you know, enjoy listening to everybody's videos and hopefully there won't be no, you know, drama and everybody can just enjoy listening to other people's videos and getting their opinions, maybe sending the video response back, you know, kind of getting back the way it used to be. And uh, we can enjoy just each other. And because uh, the YouTube wrestling community used to be a one big family and it was enjoyable and it was fun. And we all, you know, just shared that one common thing. We love wrestling and we just enjoyed, you know, doing that. I know I'm ranting here, so don't cut the video off just yet. <laughs> just uh, enjoy it. I'm just glad to be back. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to review, uh, just tweet me and I'll review it and do it on my uh, weekly segments and stuff like that. Because I'm uh, intending on doing it. And, you know, Jim and I and assault and battery 777 both tweeted me last night and it felt good you know to hear from the guys that i hadn't heard from in a long time and maybe we can all just get together and do this thing and uh, bring the wrestling community back to where it should be at the top well i think we should all do is not this year because you know it's already wrestling i think there are a lot of the uh people in the wrestling community should get together and we should all go to wrestlemania 32 which I think it's going to be in Texas. I'm not sure yet. Well, I think it's Dallas. If it's Dallas and Jerry World, that would be awesome. I've been there and seen a football game, and WrestleMania in Jerry World, that would be freaking awesome. But uh, anyway, everybody, I'm glad that uh, you're listening to my videos and stuff, and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, just remember to subscribe to me and Follow me on Twitter at bturn83. Thank you. The chosen one's out, baby.